The teachers union in New York City is out with a stern warning for the incoming mayoral administration. If testing problems are not fixed, remote learning might be necessary. CBS News' Kevin Rincon has the story live from Hell's Kitchen. Kevin? Cindy and Dick, we've seen COVID cases surging all throughout the city, and it's been no different at schools. Students, teachers, support staff, they've all gotten sick. And if things don't improve, well, kids could be forced to stay home. We have nothing but overwhelming evidence that the testing system for our school system has fallen apart. The head of the teachers union, Michael Mulgrew, says a big part of that confusion over who can get a test. Up until two weeks ago, adults were being excluded because they're vaccinated. The testing teams are saying nobody told us to do that. Nobody wants to hear this. And as case numbers surge, the message from the UFT fixed the problem or risk having to shut things down. We're not going to sit here and say schools should be open because we're not going to tell the parents who talk to the teachers every day that your children are safe. A sixth grade teacher from IS61 in Corona, Queens, who wanted to remain anonymous, says testing at her school has been a mess. It's very chaotic. It's not really organized. So what's happening is more students are getting exposed. She's frustrated with claims that there is enough testing to go around. That's not really happening. The only kids that are getting tested are those that have given in consent forms to be tested and are not vaccinated. A PS 33 in Chelsea, this grandmother walking with her fifth grade grandson, she's got concerns surrounding the quarantine protocol, says they're flawed. They got to use the same bathroom, you know, the same lunchroom. So you're still exposing back everybody to COVID. It don't make some sense. I think remote learning would be better better off for people and, um, you know, with their children. For David, a second grader, even he's had a close encounter with COVID. One in my chess class got sick. He's worried about that, but... Um, but the kids stay home is not a good choice. His mom, Carrie, hopes kids can stay in the classroom come January. But if things don't change, I don't think we're in for a happy new year. And we did reach out to Mayor de Blasio's team to get reaction to Mulgrew's comments. Uh, we didn't get any. As for Eric Adams and the transition team, the uh, incoming administration, they say they're waiting until he takes office to weigh in. Either way, there's not a whole lot of time to get things right. Live in Hell's Kitchen, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News. All right, Kevin, thanks very much.